Okay, I need my glue stick. Okay, Xbox, are you trying to piss off your customers? Are you trying? Because I haven't seen this much stupid from EA. EA, at least, from what I got from them, EA is just oblivious to their stupidity. They're just like... They're in their own little world. They're like Anita Scarsesian. Or any of the other radical feminists. Yeah, you, you can quote me on that one. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about what Microsoft has just said. <sighs> this is what they said about their backwards compatibility. This is what the Microsoft executive, Don Mac... Matt Rick says he reckons only 5% of customers play games from previous generations on their new consoles. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, first off, one, if you don't make your console backwards compatible, you're going to lose sales from... You can, think about it. If you make it backwards compatible, you can have people say, you can say, oh, you can, they, they can pretty much, like, re-release old 360 games, like, bundle collections, like, I don't know, I have a Halo 3, Reach, and ODST on one big bundle, like, the Halo collection, or the Bungie 360 collection, only $40. You get all the DLC maps and everything, and you get to play on your new console. Yeah! They could have done that, for example. You know, use it on the 360 discs and make it compatible. Not only would they get new sales, but it wouldn't... But, say, if you didn't have the money to afford a 360, you now have the ability to play new games and older games. That's what I liked about the Nintendo Wii when it first came out. You'd be like, I can play... I can play Smash Brothers Melee on it? Animal Crossing? Uh, what other good games, uh, that people like? Um, Mo Super Mario Sunshine? <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, it's one thing, maybe, for what they... Maybe they just said the facts, but that that's not what pissed me off. Here's what he said. If you're backwards compatible, you're really backwards. Okay. Okay. I am not amused. Backwards compatibility is one way to keep your console souls alive. It's one way you can keep people from to keep it's one way to keep you from buying your competitor's stuff. Because think about it. You have the ability to to buy your, you know, to buy games from a previous generation and play it on a newer one. You get people to stick around with not one collection of games, but multiple ones. In this case, two. I understand maybe not being backwards compatible with, X, with the original Xbox. I'm totally... I, I'm totally cool with that. Oh, well, the Xbox 360, you've got to be joking. <sighs> you fucking idiot. You know, they're losing. Of course... I did some looking into after somebody told me this, but apparently Sony's stock right after the uh, Xbox One reveal, it went up 10%. That may not seem like much, but that's a lot. I, it's official. Microsoft is doomed. Anyway, I'm Brenton Kage, and I'll see you later.